The power in this district comes primarily from Louisville ISD. Flower Mount Marcus went undefeated in district play last year, only to have their star quarterback, Garrett Nussmeyer, miss the postseason with an injury. The Marauders bring back an experienced offensive line, along with Dallas Dudley and Connor Vaughn as receivers. However, what most fans will be keeping an eye on is the quarterback position. If you are looking for pure offensive firepower, the Fighting Farmers will have what you need. They return 2,000-yard rusher Damian Martinez and Texas commit Armani Winfield as wideout. If Louisville wants to take a district title, it will come down to the defensive making stops. And how about the Hebron Hawks? They are fresh off winning the state seven on seven championship and bring back one of the district's most exciting players in Coda Bridges. Flower Mound High is led by Florida recruit Nick Evers at quarterback, but it will be their young defense that must step up for a chance at the playoffs. Capel also brings back a big defensive line and will look to make a run for a postseason spot as well. As for the Plano ISD schools, Plano West made the playoffs last year under second-year head coach Tyler Suckup. Quarterback Vance Feuerbacher was the district newcomer of the year last year and should excel this year as well. Plano East returns one of the best running backs in Madi and will hope to pick up a win or two. The same goes for Plano High as they groom a new quarterback. The Film Session is presented by Cricket Wireless. Smile, you're on Cricket.